we have to keep things in perspective. We have to make sure that our, our um, preparation for this game is thorough again, and we go out and do what we talk about doing. Nigel, on further reflections, how was your first experience as Bristol City Manager? <laughs> well, it's always nice to win, of course. Um, but it, it was a, a it was important that we built on the performance at, at Middlesbrough, and I think one of the most important things for us is to try and get some sort of consistency of performance. So, but look, I mean, it's always nice to. To, to win football matches and it was certainly a tough game for us um, just because of Swansea's uh, dominance in the first half. Notice at the end of the game you got players and staff to get in a huddle. Yeah. That all in it philosophy, is that really important to you as a manager? Well it is but it, it, it just felt right to do it on the day just because um, it had been such a <laughs> tough game and uh, yeah Everybody sort of plays their part, and even if you don't get on the field as a as a player, um, you can still influence the um, the atmosphere by being positive. And and you know it's um, it was a tough week for us, and uh, but you know t to win two games is very positive. Those challenges don't get any easier with Bournemouth on Wednesday. Mm. What are you expecting from that game, and how are you feeling going into that match? Well, we, we need to get the players obviously recovered from uh, from Saturday and we'll have a look at them today just to make sure everybody's OK. So today's really um, is still about recovering, but we will have a, a first look at, at Bournemouth. They have um, lots of quality in their squad. It'll be another really tough game for us, uh, but, but I'm sure they'll be expecting um, us to be a, a, a difficult proposition too. So... Um, you know, every game in the championship, regardless of uh, of who you come up against, um, it, it's it, it's such a uh, an interesting league because there are lots of styles of play, and the the games programs relentless. So <laughs> we don't have too much time to 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 worry about things. It's uh, my my philosophy really is about concentrating as much as as we can on ourselves being prepared for our opponents but um, as I've said before we'll we'll win games if our level of performance is consistent um, but it'll be another tough one but looking forward to it. That concentration element um, how important is the mental recovery as well so you know rather than you know beast the guys ahead of a game mm -hmm. rain back a bit this stage of the season in terms of the fitness etc. It's going to be difficult to have any training adaptations now in terms of um, the physical uh, aspects of players' fitness. And it's always, again, it's always easier to, um, to put a positive spin on things if the results are right. Um, so, look, uh, the, I, I think the players are playing with yeah, a, a positive mentality at the moment, but of course uh, we have to keep we have to keep things in perspective. We have to make sure that our our um, preparation for this game is thorough again, and we go out and do what we talk about doing. And and if they do that, I I have no complaints, and and that's always um, the way to look at it. We'll get setbacks, of course we will, but uh, I think the players. Uh, are thinking more positively and that's good. You've got a couple of players back today, Nathan Baker, Callum and Alder. Early days for them, but nice to see them back training with you. It is, and there's a temptation at times to, uh, because of necessity, to maybe uh, hurry things along. But when players are back, I want them to stay back. So um, we will... Uh, we'll... <laughs> We'll get them back when they're ready to actually play, and I, I, it's it's not about putting players in a difficult position. Um, you know, all of our players want to be fit to play, but unfortunately, we happen to deal with um, some difficulties in terms of availability. But it happens in football, so you just have to get on with it.